As we celebrate remarkable women in our community, we are sharing the story of a woman who took an unthinkable tragedy and turned it into a way to feed, dress, and educate needy children. Avery Cotton shares her story. When Beth would walk in the room, this light would just shine. Everybody wanted to be Beth. Kay Dillinger describing her daughter Beth who tragically and unexpectedly passed away in 2006, right before she was set to get married. We were planning a wedding, and within a few hours, we were planning a funeral. Their only child, Beth's death, came as a shock to both Kay and her husband, Bob. We had a decision to either wallow in self-pity or do something to make an impact on the community. The decision, keep Beth's light shining bright. So we started Beth's Closet at Pace Center for Girls, which is just filled with anything a teen girl could want. And it grew from there into the Beth Dillinger Foundation, which includes everything from handing out scholarships to seniors who otherwise wouldn't be able to go to college. And to date, we have um, awarded over 250 of those scholarships to delivering food to needy, hungry children in Pinellas County with their Nourish to Flourish program. When they get this package of food, they clutch it to their chest like you've given them the biggest gift imaginable. Kay Dillinger taking the event that changed her life for the worst. Because my heart was broken in a million pieces. And using it as a way to change thousands of children's lives for the best. That is what makes Kay Dillinger a remarkable woman. And there are so many ways to help Kay Dillinger's initiative with Pace Center for Girls or through her Nourish to Flourish program. I've posted how you can help on this story on WFLA.com. Avery Cotton, 8 on your side.